once more with the wallop and the score. Smash about a riff, should I make the rock your hip? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the best tunes of the 90s that you might not know. Everybody wearing a frown. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 20, The Power of Equality, Red Hot Chili Peppers. If you're looking for a shot of musical adrenaline, look no further than The Power of Equality. The lead track off of the Red Hot Chili Peppers album, Blood Sugar Sex Magic, has all the raw power of their best work. Combining John Frusciante's wicked guitar with Flea's signature bass, the music comes together with a furious energy. Anthony Kiedis's engaging words glide over the top of an underrated groove from their prolific catalog. Even if it's not one of their big hits, it deserves to be placed alongside the likes of Under the Bridge or Give It Away. Whatever happened to your manatee, yeah. Whatever happened to your manatee. Number 19, Mr. Wendell, Arrested Development. Whether you call it conscious hip hop or just catchy, Mr. Wendell is a unique piece of 1990s rap history. Here, have a dollar. In fact, no, brother man, here, have two. It comes from Arrested Development's acclaimed debut album, Three Years, Five Months, and Two Days in the Life of. Lead performer's speech describes the struggle of the homeless, but never sacrifices the song's replayability. Mr. Wendell has tried to warn us about our ways, but we don't hear him talk. His heartfelt message comes with a fun groove that balances out the tune's gritty reality. Unafraid to tackle serious subjects, the group charts a tale that's timeless and important. There's also the undeniable beat that makes this the best kind of earworm. Number 18, The Anthem. Sway and King Tech and DJ Revolution, featuring RZA, Tech 9 Eminem, Exhibit, Pharaoh Monch, Cool G Rap, J.O. Felony, Chino XL, and KRS-One. Despite arguments to the contrary, you can never have too many rappers on one track. Bobby still staple tells, them seeds get to live staple. Project Chiller Hill is stamped on the map like the compass. This is especially true on Sway and King Tech and DJ Revolution's song, The Anthem, from their album, This or That. These artists bring together a variety of talent that spans an entire decade of hip hop. You have veteran acts like KRS-One and Cool G Rap, while also introducing up and coming MCs such as Eminem. This place is my house. I might as well erase my face with white out. Cause y'all can't see me like Mesa's eyebrow. Where you at? While the production could have been a disaster, it actually gives time for each rapper to shine in their own way. It's hard to imagine that this wasn't the biggest release of its kind, given the talent on display. Now you know what and tech do. I'll be back, but for now, just that cool. Number 17, Aftermath, Tricky. After working with Massive Attack, Tricky decided to go solo and release the album Max and Key. Oh. The record and its lead single, Aftermath, blend together trip-hop and other experimental genres into one. In an atmospheric production, the performer takes cues from R&B, electronic, and hip-hop to craft a winning formula. You always resemble more. You see no others can have. Here and here, my kingdom, speak of a people's... Singer Martina Topley Bird provides the lead vocals with a beautifully understated performance. Mixing cool beats with unexpected instrumentations, this laid back piece transports you to another world. The artist uses dynamic sounds to play with your perception of what is possible in music. Among the underrated musicians of the 1990s, Tricky deserves his spot amongst the most groundbreaking of the decade. Number 16, Helpless, Sugar. Starting in the 1980s, Bob Mould left his mark on music during his time in the seminal punk band Husker Du. The next decade saw him venturing into more alternative rock and pop territory with the project Sugar. Time, 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 time. So 
Tunes like Helpless show off his ability to take the energy from his younger days and funnel it into an accessible track. With addicting melodies and memorable guitar parts, this single has just the right amount of inviting elements for any rock fan. There's also some compelling drum work that keeps the driving production going. This and the album Copper Blue represent another great entry into the 1990s alt scene. Number 15, After the Flood, Talk Talk. If you know the band Talk Talk, you probably remember them for singles like It's My Life. They gradually became more artistic and experimental by the end of the 1980s, leaving behind some more commercial ideas for a genre known as post-rock. Their final album, Laughing Stock, features an exemplary take on this musical direction known as After the Flood. This epic piece contains sonic landscapes, an unorthodox structure, and an unpredictable sound. Songwriters Mark Hollis and Tim Fries Green deserve praise for creating complex music that doesn't conform to the mainstream. In one of their final statements as a band, Talk Talk offers up a satisfying experience for those willing to take the plunge. Number 14. Rid of Me, P.J. Harvey. The lead track off of P.J. Harvey's second album of the same name tells you everything you need to know about her. First of all, she's an accomplished songwriter who's more than capable of attracting alternative music devotees. Harvey also has an ability to build suspense in an opening that's quiet until a sudden change. With this shift, she reveals that she can also rock out like the best of them. Rid of Me features impressive guitar and drum work that stands as a perfect time capsule of the era. Fans of 1990s music might already know her, but this deep cut has enough magic to welcome casual listeners into her catalog. Number 13, Fru Fru Foxes in Midsummer Fires, Cocteau Twins. On the final track from their release, Heaven or Las Vegas, Cocteau Twins bring together some of their best musical impulses. The dream pop act crafts an epic song with an almost cinematic quality. Vocalist Elizabeth Fraser sings haunting verses that build with emotional intensity. By the time that she reaches the chorus, the singer lets the words flow out in a cathartic moment. The amazing music behind her provides an added power that takes you on a sonic journey. It's a lengthy composition that works perfectly as its own piece, while also serving as a dramatic conclusion to a classic album. Number 12, Babies, Pulp. Pulp is best known for their track, Common People, but they have an extensive catalog of worthy Britpop. Well, it happened years ago. This includes an eclectic group of singles like this one that feel as fresh as they did upon release. With that in mind, Babies comes with a fantastic groove and some awesome storytelling, courtesy of Jarvis Cocker. The singer takes you into a complex story about young love and sisterhood that contains more than a few surprises. Using influences from the 1980s new wave, the group employs a compelling beat and synthesizers to round out this cool composition. Number 11, Me and Honey, R.E.M. Only diehard R.E.M. fans will remember this deep track off the hit album, Out of Time. I sat there looking ugly, looking ugly. 
The bulk of the song revolves around one riff by guitarist Peter Buck. From this simple foundation, Michael Stipe builds out a tapestry of notable melodies. He also has the help of B-52 singer Kate Pearson. Together, both vocalists create harmonies that stand alongside some of the best of the decade. Seems a shame to waste time for me. Stipe's signature voice leads listeners through a series of folk, pop, and rock influences. It's ultimately a hypnotic number, holding you in its orbit and encouraging you to return for its finest moments. What about me? What about me? Number 10. 7. Sunny Day Real Estate Unless you're a fan of 1990s emo, you might not know the greatness of Sunny Day Real Estate. Their first studio album, Diary, includes some awesome songs, including In Circles and The Timeless Seven. Throw all your preconceived notions about the genre out the window as you listen to a true masterpiece of rock. Taking inspiration from all kinds of punk and alternative bands, the group knows how to craft engaging riffs with heavy instrumentations. Jeremy Enoch powers through with a voice that pulls in audiences with his unique tone. Proving that there's much more to the decade than grunge or Britpop, the band paves their own way with an influential single. Number 9. Summertime the Sundays. English band The Sundays bridges the gap between rock and pop with this effortless performance. The charisma of singer Harriet Wheeler on this song makes you feel like anything is possible. The overall vibe of the song gives listeners a blast of nostalgia for the 1990s, energized and ready for some fun sounds for the summer. It's the kind of refreshing track that makes you want to go out and enjoy the simplicity of a sunny day. Wheeler's words have a literary quality that separates her from the typical songwriter. Utilizing a great guitar riff, the band assembles for a lovely experience full of positivity. Number 8. Sleep, Slow Dive this unreleased track from Slow Dive might be one of the best bootlegs of its kind. Taking a ballad into shoegaze territory, Sleep could have easily been another iconic single from the band. Rachel Goswell's voice echoes through a densely layered piece of ethereal effects. Her angelic vocals soar atop some intriguing melodies, taking listeners on a melancholic roller coaster ride. The band once again makes the most of the production with dueling electronics and guitar work. While it might not have made it onto the likes of Sue Vlocky or other acclaimed records, it deserves to be held in the same regard as the group's best work. Number 7 from a Motel 6, Yola Tango. With the release of their sixth album in 1993, Yola Tango brought together one of their finest collections of music. This includes From a Motel 6, the production of which is impressive and dynamic. The low-key vocals provide a perfect counterpoint to the aggressive instruments, and the otherworldly guitars courtesy of Ira Kaplan include some fantastic effects. A guitar solo erupts in the middle of the song that defies the usual cliches. The indie act marches to the beat of their own drum, pulling together a sound that surely influenced many alternative groups. Audiences that love this track should definitely check out this prolific band's prolific output. Number 6. Marigold Nirvana Starting as a Dave Grohl solo song, Marigold later became a highlight of Nirvana's final years. Jesus, Jesus. 
The band put out their own interpretation as a B-side for Heart Shaped Box. With Grohl singing instead of Kurt Cobain, it's also a rare recording for the group without their usual frontman. The quiet production stands in contrast to most of the act's louder catalog. Showcasing the drummer's songwriting talents before starting his own band, the delicate number features some fascinating imagery in its lyrics. The track lives on through other versions, but it's this one that highlights the vocal strengths of the Foo Fighters' frontman. Number 5. Bleed to Love Her, Fleetwood Mac among their most underrated releases, Bleed to Lover first appeared on Fleetwood Mac's The Dance album. Lindsey Buckingham's composition has all the best elements of his songwriting. The strong hook mixes with Buckingham's soulful performance. The harmonies and pristine vocals of Christine McVie and Stevie Nicks makes the song soar even higher. The tune finally received a studio release in 2003, but once again flew under the radar, despite Buckingham's precise guitar work. The song beautifully rivals his best compositions, including Never Going Back Again and Go Your Own Way. The heartfelt lyrics show the real emotion behind an undying love that's full of complications. Number 4. Lately Massive Attack. In just a few seconds, Lately comes roaring to life on Massive Attack's debut, Blue Lines. Shara Nelson sings this trip-hop tune with a flawless vocal. Nelson gives this track something extra as she turns in one of several incredible performances on an album that includes unfinished sympathy. The deep cut has one of the funkiest grooves of its kind, standing out on a record with already stellar production values. Try listening to this without feeling instantly better and chilled out. The mix of R&B, funk, and electronic influences will have you under a spell in no time. Number 3. A roller skating jam named Saturdays. De La Soul. If you're looking for a good time, look no further than this track from De La Soul. Girl meets boy on Thursday night. Boy was high, girl fly like pipe. It's a groovy hip-hop tune that owes a lot to the days of disco. A few guests also lend their talents, including Q-Tip and Vinia Mojica. The latter sings the electric hook, helping to sell the feel-good vibes of this anthem. One whole day. This ultimately becomes a celebration of the little things in life, like an action-packed weekend. For anyone looking to have fun on a Saturday, put this record on and be prepared to dance the night away. Number 2. Life in Vain, Daniel Johnston Daniel Johnston is regarded as one of the finest outsider artists of all time. Don't want to be free of hope his complicated life includes a story of mental health struggles and a series of sought-after mixtapes and albums. These include the 1994 release Fun and the great track Life in Vain. Even though Johnston wasn't a traditional musician, he possessed many qualities that virtuosos can only dream of having. I don't know where is up or down. These included a natural instinct for melody and lyrics. The song tells the tale of someone feeling inadequate, uncertain, and empty in their pursuits. Anyone that knows the struggles of day-to-day -day life can find something beautiful in the songwriter's choice of words. It's yet another example of why so many people love his work. Goodbye. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. All flowers in time bend towards the sun. Jeff Buckley and Elizabeth Fraser. 
Coming together in a powerful duet, Jeff Buckley and Elizabeth Fraser are as good as they've ever been on this record. My eyes are it was an unreleased track for many years, even though people managed to get their hands on it. For those that don't know it, All Flowers in Time Bend Towards the Sun might become their new favorite song. It might not have all the added effects of a big production, but both performers bring a real presence and an honest emotional quality to this ballad. The haunting guitars create the foundation for poetic lyrics that rank high among either singer's catalog. Buckley has since passed, but this record serves as a reminder of his musical abilities. Did we forget another hidden or overlooked gem from the decade? Let us know in the comments below. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.